This is Pavas Mera here at Parade Security's 10th annual healthcare conference in Stockholm. And with me, I have Martin Welshoff, CEO of BioInvent, a company listed on Stockholm uh, First North. Uh, Martin, could you please tell us a little bit more about BioInvent and the mm -hmm. uh, products that you're working with? Yes, so BioInvent is obviously uh, a very interesting company. <laughs> so we have uh, a very nice uh, portfolio. So we have focus around uh, a portfolio and uh, a platform, basically. Mm -hmm and that the core of the company is that platform that delivers uh, multiple projects that we're using in one way for our partners, such as Pfizer, yeah. but also building then our own product portfolio. All right. And uh, could you tell us a little bit more about the uh, collaborations that you have with uh, other companies, such as Pfizer? Yeah. So we have a number of uh, collaborations. So, uh, you know, we have collaboration also with uh, Daiichi and we have one with Takeda and uh, Mitsubishi Tanabe. So they have already products out of our antibody library that they're moving into the clinic, basically. Uh -huh. And they do that on their own. And whenever they hit a milestone, then uh, we get some money. Yeah. And with Pfizer, we have currently very active collaboration, which is more around the discovery of new targets and antibodies. And most recently, we had a uh, very important breakthrough, yeah. which means uh, we discovered uh, a target which then Pfizer picked and selected in order to do further work on it. And uh, what is the market potential, more in like numbers, uh, regarding this specific uh, product? Yeah, so uh, regarding a specific product, it's different, d difficult to give a number, because yeah. then first you have to do all the clinical development, etc. But if you look at the Pfizer deal, so it's it was structured like this, they provided an uh, upfront payment of 3 million. They did also an equity investment of 6 million into the company. Okay. And then total uh, milestones uh, without royalties up to 500 million US dollars. Obviously, you know, it's a long way to go that, but yeah. I think it uh, has a lot of potential. Yeah, it's a great potential. Yeah. And uh, looking forward, more like out of an investor perspective, both short term and like uh, medium term, uh, are there any specific uh, events that uh, investors should be on the lookout for? Yes, so I'm expecting, so we had the first milestone with Pfizer, and I'm expecting uh, other ones. Uh, okay. So uh, stay tuned in this respect. Okay. Then other, like big pharma? Well, uh, in the Pfizer collaboration itself. Okay. So because we have a lot, lot of momentum and good progress, and uh, you know, we we think that uh, we should hit some other milestones soon. Then, as I said, so we're also using our platform to build our own portfolio. So we have now two uh, clinical programs and uh, might structure some collaboration out in the second program that we're currently discussing. Mm -hmm. So there's also something uh, that might materialize uh, during the second half of this year. So okay. those are near-term yeah. milestones, basically. So uh, an eventful end to the year, basically. Looking forward Absolutely. to it. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you very much, very much Martin. Thank you.